Is this okay? Great. Welcome, 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 friends and e-learners to Lil Lum's helpful art tips. I am here today with an assortment of trash because trash is art treasure, my friends. So uh, today on our episode, we're talking about how to use the junk you have laying around in a practical way for your art making process. And that could be a lot of different things. Kyle is our, wait, no. <sighs> Kyle is here, Olivia is here, and Helena is here. Yes, thank so you. We're good. I was yes, say, and thank you. I was gonna say, Kyle is our one and only, but two other people showed up. Let's be honest, Kyle is our one and only. I, Helena! Everybody is our one and only. Something. Cause you are all unique and one and only. And me too. Helena and Kyle are our regulars. Well, yeah, I mean, obviously, they are, they are actually, um, Olivia they're left. subscribers, they're my supporters on the Patreon. Oh, good. <laughs> that I don't have. Um, oh, good. They are my people. You are my people, and you have been here from day one, and I am gratitudinal from my cardiac region. Thank you for that. Helena says, represent. Rep. Represent. Okay. So, uh, are you guys ready for some trash talk? Yeah. <laughs> no, let's see what I did there. It's life every day. He's joined us. Yeah. Life, it's life NFL. every day. Hannah, 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 Hannah. This is a good episode for um for you because you like to use the paint and things. So I'm gonna show you some things. All right, let's uh, dive in. Okay. If you have a question, make sure you let me know. If um if you think this is foolish, let me know. I'll try to explain why it's not. If you think I am a hoarder, yes, <laughs> yes, you can't I don't. Deny that one. I can't deny. Um, and also, anything I say to you today, you have to find out what works best for you because some of this is going to be like nonsense. Okay. All right. So let's talk about what our objective is. Our objective number one, because I am a closeted um, environmentalist. Okay. I recently had solar panels put on my roof because I want to save the earth. And um, I've always been a fan of the idea of like um, growing your own vegetables and recycling and these things. And my home is where I can do a lot of that. And so um, that manifests itself in what I like to do, which is art making and making things. And so that's why I have so much art making um, trash crap. All right, so Yay. a couple things. Here's what we're trying to do. We're trying to incorporate things that uh, you would usually throw away, uh, and they're called single-use plastics, okay? We're talking like straws, which I don't have a use for today, but maybe you can, maybe you can tell me how this can be could used. save a turtle instead of killing a turtle uh, in the ocean. So I want to hear, would be I, I would like to hear your ideas on that. Uh, other than, yes, I know I should just roll up paper and use that as a straw, I get it. But um, we're taking single-use plastics and uh, from packaging, or other things, and then we're transforming it into a useful help for our art making process. So I'm gonna tell you about what some of these things are. We're gonna start with maybe some of the more practical things. Okay, this is from like a catering uh, place, okay? So maybe you ordered takeout, maybe you have Blue Apron or some other meal place, and you get one of these. It's foil, you can recycle it, okay? but. Why not use it once or twice before you do? This thing I think is the most practical because uh, it's a great way to store paints. These are brand new paints that I got from my parents so that my kids can paint their birdhouses and I'm opening them up for the first time. And he's stealing them. And I'm stealing them Again, for use in my demo. Again, why you have kids, you steal I steal from. all the things, oh, oh. Thanks mom and dad for buying me, I mean my kids art supplies. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Is it slow in the comments again? Yeah. Hannah oh. did say that she keeps missing these episodes and she blames herself for it. But, like, I get it. Like, homework. I, I absolve you from all guilt because like, it's a busy season, friends. Plus, uh, Holy Week. Did you put the paint in the... I'm putting some in there. I'm sorry. I didn't realize I had to crack it open. You know how when you go to Blick and you buy paint, like, you don't have to peel off a, like, a, a thing. Do you see that? Like the little foil thing? Yeah, so this is kind of, that's kind of cool, right? 
makes Kyle, it so it doesn't dry, dry out. Kyle says Luke is still sleeping. SMH. Um, SMH. So, oh, so much hate, I think. So much, I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. know what that means. Because I'm, so I'm an old man. I'm an old guy. We used to say things. I thought it was radical when we were saying things back in the day. In junior high, my buddy, um, my buddy Dylan from Texas moved into the area. He um, introduced me to my best friend, who is still my best friend on the earth. And he introduced me to the word sweet. Sweet. It was so counterculture. It was weird. It was weird to say sweet. I, we were all like, awesome, dude. Cool. Rad. And, and then, then he goes, sweet. sweet. And we're like, what is that? <laughs> and, and But we all adopted the word, and I still use it. Not in our Christian Wheaton. Yeah. Yeah, even in the Wheaton bubble. So all, all of that happened in your language. I don't understand it. So continue to teach me the ways. All right, we got some paint in here. And this is going to be, this could be my palette. Also, the way I store paint, okay? In, in the classroom, we have those, there are those like metal dissection trays, like, or something. Mr. They're Ellis actually, is still wondering where they are. Yeah, really, I should have taken <laughs> some of his. Um, I, plus, where do they all go? I feel like, do they just leave? I bet he took them back. Uh, they're like medical grade um, little cast, not cast iron, but little metal trays that are covered like cookie and, sheets like cookie sheets totally so this is just the same idea it's um something we can seal off really easy by the way if you had the lid for this that comes with this that's ideal if you don't don't worry so i've got my paint i can use this to mix paint this is my palette and then when i want to put my paint away you know that's the one thing i forgot spray bottle spray that with a little water okay or bust just out your water bottle on it. Right. Bust out your foil. Okay. And then just wrap it up. Nice. Wrap it up nice so. and tight. And then if my foil, I should have taken a just longer piece. Flip it. Flip it. Flip the orientation. I think I just made a square. That's worse. Oh. So make sure you pull enough off so it covers all sides. Seal it up. Now you are good to go. This will last for infinity. And you can reuse it. If, it, if your paint dries in there, it doesn't matter. Just let, it, it can be dry and then you put more paint on it. All right, just keep building it up. It doesn't matter. You can you could try to scrape it out or pull it out, that's fine. Okay, so number one, really practical, recyclable, save the environment, save your paint for tomorrow, up to a couple days, up to a couple days, I think. Okay, what else? As you know, in the classroom, I have many of these. This is my collection of yogurt. Look at this yogurt, vanilla. Also, maybe some cottage cheese in there. Oh, sour cream, okay. I don't think we have cottage cheese today. No cottage cheese today, but um, these are invaluable, okay? I save every one of them because I bring them to school and use them for you guys. And here's the thing, once they're done, I can recycle them still, I think. I don't know if, if there's like a secret cabal at the recycle place that they're like, oh, these have paint. Forget. I don't know, but like I figured they can re recycle them. You can take the, um, some of them you can take the wrapper off. This one's it's printed on here. So if this bothers you, you can just have it plain. Or paint over it. Paint over, who, decorate your own. I mean, or don't at all, just use it, okay? I put water usually in these things. It's a good solid base, it's not gonna tip over. And I use it for cleaning my brushes in between uh, colors, okay? Doodler, skadoodler is here. Hello doodler, how are you? What else can we use those for? Because I see this over yes. there. Yes. Okay, so. And that's what I use them for. This is a, another practical thing. Where are you going to put all those pencils that you need handy? Are you going to go to Amazon and buy something? Um, you could do that, or you could have one for free or uh, three, three ninety four, dollars uh, three twenty five. dollars Eat the yogurt and then put your stuff in there, okay? It's as simple as that. Here is something, and this, I want to show you this. When I was in college, one day, when I took my painting class there, I cut the top off of a big water bottle, and I started using it. I used it for every painting I've ever made. Right now, it's being used to hold supplies. And this was when? This is from my sophomore year in college. I still have it. And this color right here, some of you have seen a painting in the classroom of a weird androgynous mannequin. 
I painted that. That's the first painting I did, and that's the green. That's the original green from that painting. So I don't know why. Not only do you save the earth, but you save memories. I save mem. There's something. Uh, that's why. That's the hoarder in me. Okay. So I think it's kind of cool to think of all the paintings that I've painted with that reused water bottle. We'll be burying you with that, or cremating you. With I that, I would I would ask. Please yes. Please yes. And thank you. All right. So yogurt containers, uh, plastic containers, both big and small. So here's. Uh, Chobani individual serving okay maybe you're doing some watercolor and you just want to keep an individual dish when you go to Costco and you buy these just rinse them and stack them save it let them dry first because they get moldy if you stack them wet okay <laughs> save these and then use them and then wrap them in foil Do you, does that make sense okay everybody's like uh, snooze fest all right here's let's go for um, some weird stuff so I have four children, believe it or not, once they, they used to be babies. And we had a lot of baby food jars. And so I started saving baby food jars because they're handy supply holders. How old am I? You're 16. And these are from when Listen, I was Listen, anything I've saved, anything I've saved uh, other than this hunk right here, which will end up at school in the studio, anything I save is actually in practical use right now for the most part. Except for the things I'm literally showing you right now, which are not being used. Okay. So this has my charcoal in here. I can separate my charcoal out by the um, uh, the softness, okay? So I can put medium or hard, or I can do 6B, or I can do whatever. Um, light, dark, however you want to divide it up. Now, that's practical for this. What else can I put in baby jars? Uh, paint or glazes that I save the cap and I can cap it off, okay? Anything that has a cap is handy, including um, when I take prescription medication um I, I rarely save these i rarely but you could use this for storage of paint or something else that you need to keep somewhat fresh i don't know that those caps are airtight so um caveat emptor buyer beware and experiment see see if that works okay uh the armchair general is here armchair <clears throat> i'm giving art tips i don't know i think a frisbee Personally, a frisbee would be an amazing palette, and if you like just rinse it off when you're done, you can still use it. So you tell me, what do you think, armchair? DIY. Um, this is from an Easter egg, uh, like How one of those orange ago? ones. Last year, it's last year's Easter egg. What, and here's what I'm. Here's why I took it because a, it's the sh it's shaped like an egg. I have both sides, so look what I could do with this. A mold. I can make a mold if I wanted to make an egg. I could literally make. In a, like an epoxy resin mold with this, two-part mold. Or I could make a chocolate mold. I don't know, that's ridiculous. But I could make a mold, or I could just use this for a little water dish for watercolor paint. Okay? I'm just telling you, use what use what's on hand. You're going to, you're going to, this one you're going to give me a lot of problems with. Ready? Wait, wait, wait. Ready for this? Put that cheese thing oh, down. Sorry. The armchair general says, ooh, it's so true. Multi-purpose tools in the frisbee. Not ashamed to say I've used them as plates before as well. Hey, we actually, we actually have frisbee plates we have because several. of Monks in yes. Wisconsin Dells. We go up to Big the water park up. in Wisconsin Dells, and there's a place called Monks, and they serve kids' meals on frisbees. We save every one, and we eat off of them on a regular basis. I don't I, think we've ever played a game of frisbee we, with those yeah, people. That, that's a shame. Food. And armchair, I promise to change that. I promise to make that um, different. Okay, so... This is from Aldi. This is a package of sharp cheddar cheese that we ate. I'm telling you, I, I know it's a little over the top, but here's my vision. Listen, it still has the little sticky. It's designed to stick back together, okay? So you could put paint in there, and then you could sort of seal it back up, and this will last for a day or two. It's got some room. Then also, here, let's talk about another tip. Um, if your name's Hallie Jane, and you paint a lot and you buy an expensive palette, a wet palette, um, just do this. Okay? Put some water on a paper towel. Let that soak up. And then put yourself a little uh, parchment or wax paper. Boop, boop, boop. Okay? And then you put your paint in that, seal it up, and you have a nice, easy, wet palette. Okay? Look at this is like uh, if you do plain air painting, you go outside, this would be great. You know what else is good for plain air painting that I don't have right here? 
if you've ever bought colored pencil and they come in a metal tray, perfect palette, okay? Bring your paper towel, wet it down, bring some parchment paper or wax paper, put your paint on it, it'll stay wet for longer. All right, um, I didn't show you the lids. Lids are great palettes. These are great palettes from the yogurt. Um, they come in clear, clear, and this, white. So notice when I put them down on, this is a piece of um, um, masonite, okay? Basically particle board. I paint on this all the time, almost exclusively. This is what I like. It's very smooth. But when I put the clear palette on the masonite, it has a beige or neutral color. That's good. Do you know why? Anybody? Can anybody tell me why? I'll tell you why because this is my show. When you put your color on white and you're determining values, your eye is making the relationship between the color uh, or the value and the white background. And that can be misleading when you put it onto your painting, okay? So when you have a neutral background like this, you get a much more accurate read as to what the appropriate value is going to be. Okay. Quick tips with Lil Lum. Quick tips with Lil Lum. Helpful art tips. Mia Cox is here. Hopefully Hello. she'll stick around. I, that would be nice because I I think Mia could would enjoy some painting and some tips on how to use trash. She's for in art animations treasure. class, so I think that Beautiful. she should like use her art to uh, Agreed. do something cool. Agreed. So, um, listen, I got a whole stack of things. Also, plastic bags, reuse them. They're your friend. You can put your containers into the plastic bag, seal them up. Make sure you spritz, spritz with some water and your paint's gonna last forever. A couple other goofy ones. This is from Girl Scout Cookies. I, I, water, paint, I don't know, okay? Use it. I love these clear ones from Aldi, the yogurt. Look, it's like crystal, crystal clear. It says, yes, I would love to stick around. Glad to have you. Uh, um, Colton Gomel is here. Hello, Colton. Uh, this is a Clancy's, not Mr. Clancy himself, but um, the pretzels from Aldi. Another lid. It's dark. It's perfect. That is perfect. And then this is Q-tips. Look, that is a great little container to put your paint in. It is not a Q-tip. No, it is the packaging from Q-tips. Okay, super good. Now, um, oh yeah, the last thing. This is this is ridiculous. We got some chocolates at um, Christmas time. Okay, and in them were these little separators for each of the chocolates. Now. You're like, I don't even remember this. Okay, what would you do with these? Well, this this one in particular, there's a top and a bottom. Do you see that? That is perfect for like single use watercolor. Put individual colors in there. Keep, keep that on a beige background and then just dip and go. This is like the ultimate watercolor palette in my opinion. And it's trash. It was free. I have several of them in here. And I'm definitely using them. them. And Dakota will be stealing them. Okay. Last two things. Always have uh, stretch tight plastic food wrap slash, um, they call it saran wrap na name brand. That's like the Kleenex of, of plastic wrap. This is from Costco, and I have some in the classroom. You guys use it all the time to stretch over your painting palettes. Also, tin foil. Last trick I'll show you. Whenever you're painting, this is the last trick, and then I'm going to show you two other ridiculous things that are recyclable. So what I do is I, I will lay my paint out and then I will simply make a little pocket, fold it up, okay, on all sides. And it, of course I spritzy spritz it with the, the spritzer. This will last for a week, mm -hmm. your paint, okay, gold. Okay, here's the last tip. If you ever get paint on your clothes, you know, listen, your, your mom or dad have work clothes if, if you are working in messy environments, when they're, when they're out there in the garden or when they're working, they're working in their work clothes. You need work clothes too when you are painting. You shouldn't be wearing your nicest clothes. Don't ruin your clothes. Don't be like me. Don't get paint. I've got paint on it. Look at my pants. I wear these to work, yet I have paint on them. Don't, Don't do it. Don't tell Mrs. Hockett. Yeah. Shh. I know that's not professional. This is a pair of pants that I still fit into. Uh, 34 30s. I know I got stubby little legs and they got paint all over them. So when I'm painting, I wear them. Where do you think I wipe my paint off? Right on my pants. Why? Because I can. Because I'm wearing a junk t shirt or, or flannel in the winter. And I'm wearing my work pants. And I don't need 
to worry about where I wipe the paint because it wipes right on my pants. Last but not least, save your old towels that are disgusting and done and they don't work anymore to soak up water and use them when you're painting. Don't get paper towels all the time. If you do get paper towels all the time and you put paint on them, you can't compost that because this plastic. So you use this until you can't use it anymore. And they're very absorbent. So if you make a spill, easy to wipe it up. No fuss, no muss. You could even just put this in your lap if you don't want to get it on your paint and just dab your brush off on that. All right, here's, here's my technique. I can't do it. This has no paint on it. Usually when I'm painting, ticky, 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 I just do this. And then I rinse and do another thing. Extra paint off, rinse, do another thing. And it's so much more efficient. Guess who just showed up? Who did? Hallie Emma. Jane. Emma. Emma. Oh my gosh. Em, em, which Emma? Van Wagner. It's about time, Emma. Thanks for joining me on, on the tips. That was my last tip. But listen, anybody, uh, any questions? I know you guys are, I hope you're not bored out of your mind. What time? That was a, that was a significant episode of tips. Save, recycle, reuse, reduce all of the things, and make the arts. Kyle says Emma the first timer. She's not Emma a, goes, I've she been first, here before. Yeah. But you should be here more, Emma, and I'm gonna I'm gonna invite you to come back again for Lil Lum's tips because do you know why? Do you know? Do you know who Lil Lum is? It's me, but you named me, Emma. That's very special. So thank you for that wonderful name. I appreciate it. You can't nickname yourself. It's it's not authorized. So you have to let other people give you the name so you can use the name. If somebody if you nickname yourself, that's ridiculous. So this has been Lil Lum's helpful art tips. I've enjoyed spending time with you today. I hope you'll go make some art. I hope you'll come back and watch my videos. Uh, look on YouTube for previous videos. Like and subscribe because um, I need the subs so I can get my um, custom URL. Okay, And don't forget to ring the bell to get notifications. I was on Twitch last night. Thanks for the two plus. Actually, it was eight people who at least watched for a while on the Twitch stream. And I drew a really cool um, dwarf fighting a giant and uh, that's posted up on Instagram, and then I'll do a video about the brush, making a brush out of a dog's tail, and um, some other things. Not tail, their hair. Not the tail, the hair. The, t the hair of the tail <laughs> from my shih tzu. Say it all you want. It's not a swear. All right, friends. It's a little love. Signing out. Kyle says, come back Saturday, e-learning cooking show, yes. French toast. Yes, special edition, uh, weekend edition of the e-learning cooking show, French toast. Kyle is teaching me. I will follow along. We're um, going to share the live space together. That's going to be a great episode. Guys, have a blessed good Friday if I don't see you. Have a wonderful day. Um, check you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>